Hey guys, it's Jules here. Um, I've made a few other stretching videos lately on my high def camera, but for some reason, every single time I try to upload one of those videos, my internet crashes, so I'm just gonna make a short little video to keep you guys entertained while I'm working on that. So, um, a lot of people um, always ask me, like, what do I have pierced? And they, like, want to know all about it. So I was thinking, I will show you. <coughs> so, let's get started on the right ear. Um, so, uh, right now I have one cartilage piercing. And that's a um, 18 gauge. And I don't know if you can see this. There's a little bit of a dark spot right here. I used to have two, but this one was just infected for so long and it wouldn't heal. And it was just really irritating and I couldn't sleep because it would constantly just like hurt. So I had to take that one out. Um, I recently did my conch or conch. Some people call it that. It's whatever. <laughs> um, I just have a steel labre in there right now. So if you don't know what that is, it has the flat back and then the barbell and then the ball. So yeah, I got that. That's a 16. Um, I did it myself. I usually wear a um, CBR, but it's hard to take out for basketball. You have to like use little ring openers and stuff. So I took it out and I have two stretched ears, two stretched holes, I guess. This is, these are both a two gauge right now. I'm trying to get this one to a zero or possibly a double zero, but probably just a zero. And so this one, let me take it out, is a clear, a double ended plug and just made out of acrylic. I like these, but you can only use them after your gauge has like been that size for a few weeks or else you run the risk of damaging it because it's a little bit bigger on the other side so you have to like stretch it open and the first time you do it it like really hurts to um put the double flare tapers in but I mean plugs but after you do it once like it's so easy I could just take this in and out all day <coughs> and so this one is also a two right now you can't see because my hair is dark you can see through it. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> um, this is just a chaos silicone eyelet and it looks like this and they're squishy. These are really nice because they're really comfortable. That's what the hole looks like and um, pretty easy to put in once you get to a big size. But so what you do, fold it in half like this. And you just stick it on in there. And sometimes you need to like stick a pen or something in there to kind of pop it out because sometimes the insides like are folded. But yeah, so I think that these look pretty cool. A lot of people are like, ew, what the hell is on your ear? Because it's an actual hole, but I mean, I like it. So who cares? <sighs> Sorry, I'm sleepy today. Um, I have a lot of these too. I have some pink... Um, silicone eyelets and some black ones and some clear ones. The clear ones are really cool because it looks like you just have a hole. Um, and it's perfect for basketball because it's like, I use it as a retainer because what are the people going to say? Like it just looks like a hole. So perfect. Um, moving on. I used to have my eyebrow pierced. I got it done freshman year <coughs> in May 3rd, 2009. <laughs> I know, like, the exact date. Um, I had, like, convinced my parents to take me, and they're, like, super, super strict on piercings, and I was, like, had to sign a contract and all this shit. And so they took me to Mom's Body Shop, which is on Haight Street. Um, I live in the city, or in the Bay Area. General. <laughs> so, um, I got that done, and it actually didn't hurt at all. Like, a lot of people were like, oh my god, did that hurt, blah, blah, blah. And no, it didn't. Like, I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. People always think that my eyebrow and my conch and my stretched ears. A lot of people think that the stretching hurts so bad, but, like, it really doesn't hurt that bad. The most painful stretch is from 
a six to a four every single time I stretch. That is the only one that ever hurts. And it hurts for like three days, like this throbbing pain, but no other stretch hurts that bad. Like I just went up from a, a four to a two like last week and it was nothing. Like I'll get that video up. You will see. <laughs> so I just recently got my nose pierced. Um, why I took out my eyebrow was because if you can see, there's a little scar right here. It started to reject because it wasn't deep enough or something. I don't know. My body didn't like it. And so a normal eyebrow piercing is a three eighths of an inch in length. And mine was one fourth of an inch and it was big at one fourth of an inch. Like you could see the bar. Um, so it was way, way too small and it just kind of looked gross because it started coming like onto my, where the hair is at. <sighs> so yeah, I took that out in, um, exchange to get my nose pierced and like for a really long time I had been against nose piercings because they're so like, everyone has a nose piercing. <laughs> like at my school, I was the only one who had my eyebrow pierced and like I thought it was so cool and shit like that. So I got my nose pierced because I wanted to wear a hoop in it, but I was stupid. I had it pierced for like two weeks and I thought it would be okay to take it out and put in a hoop. And what do you know, it got super infected and it's still kind of infected, but I've changed it to a diamond and I've just been leaving it in as much as possible. But I don't know, it's just been kind of a bitch to heal. <coughs> um, also, nose ring most painful piercing I have ever had in my entire life it hurt so bad um I didn't start crying but it like makes your eyes water because your nose is so sensitive it just feels like being punched in the face like honestly I didn't think it was gonna hurt at all and I was like oh this is nothing like no big deal and he does it and I was like oh my god <laughs> like what that wasn't supposed to hurt at all because people are always like oh yeah that doesn't hurt and I just was not even prepared. And so I was like shocked on top of the fact that it hurt. So um, yeah, definitely painful. And what happened, it was super weird. I put in a, um, a whatever the rings are, it's like a, it doesn't have the ball, but you can just like clamp it closed and it's like an endless ring or whatever. Um, I put one of those in when it wasn't fully healed and it wasn't fully closed and it like healed around the ring so it like closed up and I could just put the ring in like um like a little tiny bit into the hole but it wasn't a full hole like it was so weird so on top of that I had to re-pierce my nose with an 18 gauge needle that I just had lying around and that hurt so bad but luckily I think it's starting to heal it's a little red still sometimes it gets a little bump but it's looking all right. I'm trying to get one on this side too because I think that that would look bomb. Moving right along. <coughs> this is my cool piercing side. Um, on this side I have my Rook pierced. It's a 18 gauge. I know that it should probably be a 16. I did it myself probably freshman year, maybe sophomore year. Um, the first time I did it, I didn't do it deep enough and it rejected, which was the most, it was like the second most painful thing that's ever happened because literally it was infected for like two months and till I decided to take it out. But then I redid it and it's been good. Healed up nicely. I really like it. You know, I, it used to be unique. Like now I know a few people that have it, but it's still pretty unique. And I just have this little, like, I don't even know what this is. It's like half cartilage, half lobe. This is just a CBR, 18 gauge. Whew, sorry. And I just recently got my tragus pierced. And that was that was a really painful piercing too. Um, this is a 16 gauge and it just has a libre. You can see how it has the flat back. And I really like this one. Um, I just went and got it in Berkeley. So yeah, that was cool. Why it was so painful though was because I don't know if you can see on this tragus. See how small my traguses are? They're like not even existent. So the lady, like she had to pierce it and then she had to like put in the stuff. And so she was like pulling my tragus all the way forward on top of the fact that I had a new piece of metal sticking in it. 
and she was like pulling it forward so that she could put the taper in so that she could put the jewelry in and I was just like oh my god please stop like and it was bleeding so bad um and I just have same stretched 2g on both sides and so yeah I used to have a third piercing right there but I took it out just wasn't feeling it with the stretched ears and also one of my favorite piercings I have is my smiley oh it's all messed up <laughs> awkward and a lot of people think that that's really gross and weird it comes sometimes it comes down when I'm talking I don't know I kind of like it I like to play with it the most common question I get is Julia why would you get it if no one could see it? And to that, I just don't even have an answer because I did it because I like to know that I have it. I like to play with it. I wanted to do it because I just thought it looked cool and I wanted it and I'm into that type of stuff. Yes, I did it myself with an 18 gauge needle. Yes, it hurt, but not really that bad. Like you don't really have that many nerves right there. It's just kind of like a numb feeling and it's impossible to put the jewelry in like it's so hard but yeah I like it my friends are always like when I meet new people they're like oh show them that piercing you have right there and it's like so awkward because like people immediately think that I'm so strange but whatever um I also have my belly button pierced I'm not gonna show you because it's kind of gross um I pierced it because I don't I just kind of wanted it I don't really wear like bikinis or stuff because I'm a, I'm a bodacious person. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I really like how they look. So I did that and I did it myself with a 14 gauge needle and it got so <laughs> inflamed. Oh my God. It was bruised, like this huge blue bruise around my belly button for like two weeks. I couldn't even sit down. Like it hurt so bad. And so now it's a lot better. It just has a little bit of scarring. It's just a little bit red around the edges, but you can't really tell. Um, I really like it. It's a pretty good for a self-done one, but I mean, I would definitely suggest going to a professional because that was pretty stupid that I did it myself. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's it. I'm hoping to get a few other piercings soon, but that's probably not going to happen because basketball season is coming up and I'm not allowed to have piercings <laughs> so well I'm allowed to have them but I just have to get cutty ones where my hair covers it or I don't know I was thinking about getting my septum pierced because that's easy to flip up so yeah I will keep you guys updated thanks for watching hope that you enjoyed this bye love you